my work is very much about creating a particular experience that is then given or perhaps a gift to the viewer. My name is Andrea Stanislav and I am a contemporary artist that works with video, sculpture, installation, and public art. I would describe my artwork as work that is very beautiful, that derives from both minimalism in an art historical context. Uh, physically, my work is very reflective. Uh, there are many mirrored surfaces, glittery surfaces. The content of the work, the further you look at it, you'll see something that is perhaps the other side of the mirror, sort of, you know, sort of metaphorically to speak. The content might question um, a darker side of humanity, a darker side of culture, and I believe that that uh, has sort of a mystery or an intrigue, and that's, that's important to me. This sculpture is, is called Big Kitty Multicolored Fluorescent Protein. This is a gigantic, actually, lion sculpture, the Big Kitty, and it's been uh, beheaded, and it's standing, actually, on its head right now. It's also being speared with uh, an obelisk. For me, this sculpture is very much about beauty and power. The colors are sort of within this rainbow palette. They're not real rhinestones, they're plastic rhinestones. For me, that's sort of a metaphor of our culture. It's about sort of the surface that we're drawn to, sort of put a veil up so that we can't actually see or that we don't necessarily hear or understand what's going on, perhaps behind the curtain. I'm working on a 30-foot high inverted sculpture of the Burj Khalifa, which right now is the tallest building in the world that was built in Dubai. The current work is called Half a Generation. It's being realized for the MCAD McKnight uh, Visual Artist Fellowship Show. One of the reasons why I'm working on this project is that I just think the Burj Khalifa is one of the most beautiful architectural elements, projects, sculptures, buildings. It's just it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. I start all my projects with drawings. In the drawing, you can see how the rhinestones then form uh, the shape, sort of the tiered shape and sort of the spiral tiers of the actual building, and then ending uh, in these 30-foot strands uh, that will then be reflected in the mirrored surface of the broken rock that's on, on the very uh, floor. I'm using acrylic rhinestones and a reflective uh, fabric that reflects back light. Overall, when you have an accumulation of these materials together and enough, it creates to some extent an array, a pattern, or this overwhelming experience of sort of light and sort of bedazzlement. So all of these elements are really going to sort of glow and reflect uh, the light uh, of the particular space. What draws me to working with gemstones, the rhinestones, the glitter, the shiny, shiny surfaces, uh, I think it's really, it's the ability for these materials to reflect light. It's very much, uh, and that's, I think that's also perhaps like an undertone to my work is it's about a particular kind of enlightenment or a way to see something.
I like to keep the imagery open to some extent. I don't want to completely divulge everything that my work is about for the viewer. Uh, some things might be obvious, but I would hope that there's a, perhaps a mystery or an intrigue that you might ask what that is. The vision carries the project for me and it continues to drive me and I never back down. I'm, I, it's, it's always about if I can you know, see it, if I can visualize it, I'm always compelled to make it and one way or another it will, it will be realized. Mm -hmm.